That was the calibration survey? Okay. Arc tracker. I found a tracker homed in on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let me safe. Okay, so it's still on Earth. We were somewhere in the Marietta Trench, right? Is it still here? It's still fucking here. <laughs> Is it in Lambda? No. Is it in Theta or Delta? It's in Tau, isn't it? Fuck, it's in Tau. Sure, let's go with the big room. Hey, it's in the big room. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. Not much to build a future. If we got to it, could could we get on the ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Guessing you want me to go do it, Catherine. I'm guessing you I'll want me. There. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. <laughs> You're stuck in sort the door of. opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there, and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. So we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that there would take go. us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. All right. Do this. Can I go this way? No. Okay. I guess we'll just go back out this way. It's interesting that she asked me to plug her back in at some point. I wonder why. But I also enjoy how, because I went and explored first, the game tracked that and was like, oh, if you came out here and did this first, then we can add a little bit of extra dialogue to it. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, huh, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. 
Maybe no, you you're right, Tina. Maybe to let this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. But... This is kind of what I meant by, <laughs> Kind of what I meant by... This game's gonna get a little existential. Right? Because... If you think about it for too long... Oh, there's a lot of issues with some of this stuff. Which is also what's so fascinating to me about this game. Which is why I've wanted to play it. Because these sorts of... Like I said, these sorts of questions are things that I've thought about before. And this game kind of does it in such a way that it kind of gets you to ask it so naturally. Right. Oh. It's okay, it was just a fake ghost. It was just a fake ghost, right? But yes, you are correct. If you don't... If you don't have the ability to sense or experience anything that made the life what it is in your biological mech, your life suit, it, you either have to want to not be able to and have a new experience being in a in whatever machine you're in as a, as a logical being or at least just have to accept the fact that that's not something you can experience anymore but hey what do we know life as a virtual being could be something with a lot of new experiences correct and that's kind of why I said my personal opinion my personal beliefs with this would be that I would hate any of this. I would hate that my body is gone. That I basically went into that body scanning and woke up somewhere a hundred years in the future in a mechanical body that is not mine. And I have no way of knowing what happened to the rest of my life. I would want to create my own reality where I'd be able to run around. Right, and that's and that's kind of the difference is our, because I'm assuming people on the Ark, are in the simulation. They're in their own matrix, rather than being inside of. What? Is there something over here? What? I don't. What? Oh, I see it. Hi. How are you? Oh, there was an actual ghost chasing me. Instead of being trapped inside of an Omni tool or whatever, you know, that. That sucks. Good. I, I really enjoy the, um. the three red lights of death looming in the distance. And I think that the way that this game is going to portray all of this and kind of force you to experience those sorts of thought uh, experiments are is just... Uh, like I said, it's really one of the big reasons why I wanted to play it. Even though I know how this game ends, it's really why I wanted to play this. And kind of why I wanted to play it during October. Because while it's not traditionally scary... Except the balls, all there too, because they die, because they're connected to the electricity. Well, that's also true, yeah. But I'm sure it's... it's... Okay, I can't open that door. I'm sure it's also supposed to be a... A way to express the ideology of what was happening. I think the pain they were experiencing was the concept of pain 
instead of actually being damaged because when you think about it all pain is is electrical signals from your nervous system to your brain telling you that you know something happened that shouldn't be happening your brain interprets that as pain but it's all just electrical signals if your simulated body if your simulated existence just didn't experience pain it's it would kind of be like how some people in the real life don't feel pain there is real issues real mental deficits that people experience where they can't experience pain Oh, game. Alright, we're in. Let's find a well, working escape vessel. Would you want to go through the experience of it? No. No one, I believe, really wants to. But that also begs the question, is the existence you're in going to be putting you into into situations that you would need to you would need to know if you were in pain? If the answer is no, then you don't need it. It's not necessary. But obviously, real life as we know it put you into that experience and while we may not enjoy it or want it it's a necessary experience because anyone that has that issue where they can't experience pain they have no idea if they're being hurt or not they have no idea if they if they have hurt them themselves if they've sustained injuries they have no idea I thought those were eyes. That was weird. Oh, that's unfortunate. Also, how are all these electronics working? Who? What? Do good. Okay. Hi. Are you still there? God, okay, you're not there anymore. For no reason why I turn my head around. Oh, I hate that when you get a, when you get a big old crick in your neck. Okay, he's no, he's actually here. Okay. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay, so if he's on your screen at all. Yeah, I'd rather not. Can you go away, please? Okay, I hate this. <laughs> Can you go away, please, sir? I'd really rather you not be here. I can't tell. Is he hitting me when he does that? He's in the room. Okay, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just shush. I can't tell us if he's hitting me or not. He's just slapping me. Let's go over this way. Let's go somewhere where he's not. Can 
I hide in the locker? I love like the little water physics. It's so cool. That's not fair. That's not fair. You spawned in front of me. Screw you. that door. Yeah, I'm glad he doesn't seem to insta-kill me. I also feel like as long as I'm not looking at it, it doesn't seem to want to come after me. Fine, I'll hide over here. You guys will just get some nice red grass. That would be unfair. Oh, yeah, yeah. God damn it. get over there, dude. At least I think I do. I don't have a map. All I have is a little key. Is, it, is there like an objectives? Is there an objectives control? I don't mean to break the tension or anything. Just trying to find... No. No, that's all I got. Okay. Well... If I was on safe mode, all it would do would be to scare me. But I'm not playing safe, I'm playing normal. God damn it, dude. Can you go away? Go somewhere else. Damn it. Why? Why are you still here? I'm at least really hurt. Fuck. Dude, go away, man. You are not making this easy on me. At least he's down there. If I just don't fucking look at him, should be able to get through here. Is there a button? There is a button I can push. Thank God. Or fist. Yeah, fist bump. here. This 
with their hand and everything. Both physically and metaphorically, even. Okay, so it's definitely doing something that... So he's just making a loud noise. He's doing something out there. Nope. Okay, time to go. See, this is where I needed him to go away. Now that he's not here... Yes, this is what I needed, because I need this right here. Yeah, screw that. I'm going up here. Goodbye. Goodbye. that for now. Oh boy, okay. Alright, let's go look and see what's around here. Nothing. Big ol' lot of nothing. Alright, what? Are we safe now from the big old scary monster boy? But I'm glad there's still toilets here. Why is this one on... Why are those up on the wall versus the... Okay, that's fine. Let's go in the spot where there's actually light. That feels... Oh hey, this is an escape pod. Fuck this noise. Hey Catherine. Be good, yes, thank uh, you. Wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there, like the ones we saw at Landa. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know. I'm going. Still getting used to all this. Oh, you're gonna leave me? You want me to leave you there? Okay, I'll leave you there. Engine room. I like how their clothes just seemingly fell off of them. <laughs> well, one of those things is over here. Uh... Yeah, it's like right there, isn't it? Yep. Yep. 
Can they open doors? Do we ever see them open the door? Okay, that's fine. Alright, well, we can't get in unless you can open doors. Be in that engine room, man. here still. Why? Why are you still in here? Okay, so they can't get through doors. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. You can it's fine. I am perfectly okay with how these are these events are transpiring. You want to come in here? You can come in here. Just make sure you knock before you break open the door. Much appreciated. Thanks. Break this door, or did you just open it instantly? You just open it instantly. That's perfectly fine. I would rather have this door open. Just... Fuck, why are you in here? There's gotta be some way I can get around him. Do I need a loop to loop him? Do I need to do a whole loop thing? I think I need to get him to chase me. to get out of here. Come on. Where are you going? Oh, I see him. There you go. Or go that way, that's fine. Which way are you fucking going, dude?
you go, did you go back in there? Come on. Good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so yeah, you do have to just kind of get him to follow you. How high up do I need to go? This looks like the engine room, at least. Yeah, here we go. This is definitely an engine room. Ah, yes, you see. The things that are stopping the engines from working seem to be these weird alien plugs.